On today's episode of Let's Find a Niche, we'll be covering Obero. Obero is a lance infantry unit, and for the longest time we really didn't have a lot of those, so she was able to at least carve some sort of niche for herself. And even in today's meta, she doesn't necessarily perform the worst. In fact, she does have a fairly workable set line with a base attack of 32 and base speed of 26 with a super boon, keep in mind, and 35 defense and 24 resistance. Because she has super boon and speed, she can easily stack it up if she so wishes to. Likewise, at higher merges, you can see the speed stat get relatively higher, which means she can easily run stuff like Spurn and Close Call if she ever wanted to, which isn't a bad idea in itself whatsoever. However, you should keep in mind that because her base attack is only 32, you'll be compromising some level of performance for that. However, it's an option nonetheless. Even so, Obero still faces a lot of competition nowadays from a lot of Lance Infantry units, especially from one of the free ones that we have, that is Brave Dimitri, who has a free distant counter weapon in his arsenal as opposed to Obero's close defense armor effectiveness lance, which can be good for arena assault checking, but that's mostly about it. Now, as far as her dedicated season goes, I'm not entirely sure what would be the best one between earth season and water season, as she has a relatively good amount of safe checks in both seasons. Even so, she could still stack up her close defense weapon with her close defense seal and get a relatively good amount of mixed bolt, alongside with low attack defense and attack smoke for even addition for more additional bulk. Because Obero has a preferred weapon, she doesn't have to run a 300 SP passive in her C slot, which can open up for smokes, which is a relatively good idea, especially when it comes to tanking. You will want to give her as much defense and res as possible so she could go up against dragons and melee all the like. And then obviously you have Ruptured Sky. You could really put this for any special realistically that scores really well. It doesn't necessarily have to be Ruptured Sky, but I chose that one mostly because it has the least amount of cooldown so it wouldn't be a bad idea if she ends up doubling. And then if you want to take more advantage of her speed, you can easily go with a Spurn set. This one's also fairly standard. It's not anything unique that you haven't seen on something like Ninja Hannah, for example. Only here, she has more visible bulk, which is relatively good. However, she has nowhere near as much speed as Ninja Hannah, so the amount of damage reduction that she'll get will be very dependent on the enemy. Even so, she can still run a decent Spurn Tank set with Flowing Lance. The reason we're going with Flowing Lance as opposed to any other weapon is because of the fact that we're stacking up her speed, she's giving up her attack. And not having that 16 might weapon can be a detriment because of the least amount of might it gets. So Flowing Lance can help make up for damage output and tanking even more. Likewise, Obero Spear doesn't really do anything against ranged units anyway because it's a close defense weapon. On top of the fact that it's also armor effectiveness, so you can end up having it be as useless as a Silver Lance a lot of the time. Although that may not necessarily be the case in PvE where you can easily make do with her preferred weapon with no problem whatsoever. However, this will be locked to the enemy phase, which isn't necessarily an issue by any means. So you can easily stack up Obero Spear with close defense in her A and then close defense in her S and easily stack up more defense in res. I gave her a res boon for this one personally, it's also a super boon because it will help out with her dragon matchups even more. On top of quick repost, so she can double reliably, and she should be able to double a lot in the enemy phase if she's taking all these close defenses and adding them to her total. I believe it's a total of 20 because of close defense 4, although you can easily make do with close defense 3 if you are running on a budget. Attack smoke will also help with that, as you will be able to tank even more and keep it keep up your quick repost range. Although if you do fall out of it, you can always run a healer ally, but I don't think it, you'll ever need to because of the amount of stats she's getting to her defense and res. Although if you want something that's more player phase oriented, you could give up her spear for a brave lance for example, and then run times pulse and moonbow. This will allow her to trigger moonbow every time she initiates combat. This combined with a bunch of death blows and then a lull can easily give her enough damage output to deal with her enemies. However, 
if you are to run something like this, you're probably better off running a Donald because he has a sturdy impact Brave Lance as his preferred weapon and it just generally does a lot better than this. However, if you do like Obro, it's not a bad set whatsoever. And then again, you can always make do with Deathblow 3 if you want to, and if you don't have Times Pulse, you can always run some sort of Infantry Pulse support or maybe a Valoria or something, so at least in the first combat you can get a Moonbow trigger off. Although I have to wonder if you can Infantry Pulse her because her HP set is actually relatively high. And then finally, we have something for Aether Raids. Aether Raids is going to be more fun in this regard because you have a lot more options to work with, but again, we're going to stick with one player phase and then one enemy phase set. The enemy phase set is relatively simple too. You've already seen this somewhat in the arena set if you've been up to if you kept up to this point. If not, this is what is also a general standard. We're running a speed boon with disencounter and spurn on top of an attack and defend attack speed solo seal which can easily stack up her speed and attack even more which is great and because she is a lance unit she can run something like springy lance which would be really great for her because in the chance and the off chance that she has to take a bright shrine springy lance will negate the debuffs and then grant her even more stats to attack and speed which would be really really strong she can actually soak Bright Shrines for you if you need to, although you probably have better units for that job anyway, such as Reagan. Although it's an option nonetheless if you do end up using Obero and she does end up getting hit by a Bright Shrine. And then we have another player face set, and this one is just for Gale Force. This one will be really, really heavy investment, as you'll also be investing into her speed set. This is more so to act as a Wings of Mercy chain for Gale Force teams. You'll generally run something like Ninja Yari. Ninja Yari, the reason we're running this over Brave Lance and the reason it's not really as replaceable is because of the speed penalty Brave Lance grants and then the speed bonus Ninja Yari grants. So with Ninja Yari, you can give her Gale Force and Flashing Blade. It doesn't matter which Flashing Blade you give her, you can give her either or. Wings of Mercy, obviously, and because she's an infantry unit, you'll want to give her Time Pulse so she can get 4 cooldown on the Gale Force. Although you can always substitute that with some kind of support. It's not necessary to run times pulse, but it always helps. And then finally we have attack speed bond as her seal. And the reason for that is because generally speaking, she'll be wing she'll be going in through Wings of Mercy, so she'll be right next to an ally. Which means she could get even more attack and speed and make flashing blade checks easier. However, once you get that Gale Force off, you'll more than likely be out of the attack speed bond range. Which is totally fine at that point. So you can easily run something like Defense Smoke in her C as well if you wanted to do that. If you don't have Times Pulse you can run Defense Smoke and then have some sort of Infantry Pulse support. That's always an option too. Or you can run Quick Impulse as her S and then Defense Smoke in her C if you want to substitute it like that. There's plenty of options available to you. But with that, that about covers Obro. I think she does have a lot of flexibility thanks to her stat line and super boon and speed. You can use her in a variety of ways and I hope that this provided some insight in how to use Obro. And until then, thanks for watching.